In my last video, I spoke about how in 2017, I started a couple of new Instagram pages, which ended up gaining hundreds of thousands of followers. One of these pages was a thread type Instagram page where I would post viral tweets and in under two years, I built this page to 500,000 followers. Last summer, I ended up selling this threads type page for $25,000 and in this video, I'm gonna go over why I sold it and also how I managed to sell it. So first of all, why did I sell it? By the end of 2018, for some reason, my pages just weren't growing anymore. Up until this point, I'd been getting about 500 and 1,000 followers every single day for about 18 months and about 7 million views on my posts every week according to my page analytics but like I said at the end of 2018 for some reason this growth just stopped I was still posting the exact same kind of content I was still getting a lot of likes and comments from my existing followers but for some reason my posts weren't being seen by new people and I wasn't getting new followers in fact over the next few months I actually ended up losing about two or three thousand followers which was just quite strange on top of not gaining new followers and actually losing followers I went from getting a about 7 million views on my post per week down to about 700,000 views per week. Now I don't mean to come across entitled and complain about something like that because I know 700,000 is still very good but my point here is that it was just quite strange to go from gaining 500 to 1,000 followers per day and getting 7 million views per week consistently for about 18 months to suddenly getting about a tenth of that and gaining no new followers. And it wasn't like I changed anything with what I was posting, I was still doing the exact same kind of post that had always done well and had always grown my page, but for some reason it just wasn't working anymore. So when things started slowing down with my pages, I actually didn't slow down myself. I actually put more effort in. I started doing giveaways, I started paying for shout outs, I started replying to every single comment that I could just to try and get more engagement and try and get more followers and start trying to grow the pages again like they have been growing in the past. Despite throwing everything at these pages and just trying anything I could think of to start growing again, nothing worked and I just couldn't recapture the growth that I'd had in the past. Now I can't be absolutely sure why all of this happened, why I stopped being able to grow with the same kind of content that had always worked really well for me, but I think it might have been something to do with the algorithm, there was some changes that came out around this time and a lot of people started struggling with growing their pages. I did speak to some other really big pages at the time and they were experiencing the exact same thing. They weren't getting the same organic reach, their posts weren't being seen by as many people and they were really struggling to get new followers on their pages. So around this time when things weren't going very well for my Instagram, I was actually getting quite busy with non-Instagram stuff. I had quite a lot of work coming in that wasn't to do with Instagram. As these things started stacking up, I got a bit burnt out and as I usually do when I feel a bit burnt out, I start looking at what I can kind of offload or give up or just kind of put on the back burner for the time being. Of all the things I was doing at this point in my life, the Instagram pages were something that weren't really making me any money, they were taking up a lot of my time and efforts, and they weren't really just paying back in any way. I wasn't growing, I wasn't making money, so at this point I decided it was probably best to sell them off, just cut my losses, and start moving on to some other things. So after I decided to sell these pages, I obviously needed to find a buyer. It's not something that is very easy to sell, so I needed to think of who would be interested in these pages and pitch it to them. So I started reaching out to big websites and kind of online magazines like 9gag, Buzzfeed and Lab Bible, just these kind of big companies and websites who already deal with a lot of online content and would probably be interested in buying a big established audience like mine. After speaking to a few big websites like that, I eventually managed to work out a deal with one of them and we negotiated a price that we were both happy with. Because of the contract I signed, I can't say the name of the company that bought my page because I don't want to get sued or probably even assassinated but I can say that the deal ended up being for $25,000, which I was pretty happy with. Now, because I'm in Scotland and the company that bought my Instagram page were in America, it wasn't really a straightforward deal where we could shake hands, have a lawyer in the room and do the bank transfer right there. So we had to come up with an alternative method of getting the money to me safely and getting the page to them safely. Usually with online sales and things like that, I would use PayPal just because it's quite easy, but with this amount of money and the fees that this would incur, and just kind of because it was a little bit risky, we didn't really want to use PayPal for this, 
So instead we used escrow.com, which I've used in the past for previous Instagram page sales. So the way this worked is we sent escrow the contract so that they knew what was on the table, what the deal was. Then I sent escrow the login information and the company who were buying the page sent escrow the money. And escrow just kind of sit in the middle holding both sides until we're sure that it's safe, we're sure that both parties are agreed about what's going to happen and we've both met the part of the deal that we said we were going to set out and meet. When both sides are happy and we've both done what we said we would do in the contract and escrow knows that we've both sent what we have to send, escrow would release the money to me and they would release the login details to the company who were buying my Instagram page. Aside from a couple of days waiting for the money to arrive in my bank account, it was quite straightforward, but in the past when I've sold other Instagram pages, escrow did take quite a long time to send me the money, so it can be a bit nerve wracking sometimes, but it has always worked out, so I can vouch for escrow if you're looking into doing this kind of thing yourself. Personally, I'm quite happy with how all of this worked out. I was able to get rid of the Instagram pages that were causing me more stress than happiness and in the process I got a big chunk of change which I'm able to put towards buying my first house. Looking back I don't regret any of this at all but I'd like to hear your opinions on this. Do you think $25,000 was a good price? What would you have done in my situation? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video I'd appreciate you subscribing and leaving a like. That's pretty much it for now so thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.